Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson, and others. The vaccines for SARS-CoV-2 are being administered to people across the world. But how did we get to a vaccine so quickly? In this video, we'll take a look at the vaccine and drug development creation process and examine how mRNA delivery made it possible to have a vaccine ready in months rather than years. As far back as summer 2020, vaccines were being researched and tested. As the pandemic spread worldwide, the focus was on target identification, recognizing which existing viral vaccines and drugs showed efficacy against SARS-CoV-2, potentially creating a foundation for a new therapeutic. Several drugs targeted against Ebola and HIV were repurposed and their efficacy was tested. In particular, stenoparib, a new PARP inhibitor that was developed to treat ovarian cancer, was shown to impede SARS-CoV-2 replication in vitro. Another study investigated a ribonucleoside analog known to be effective against Ebola and influenza. The drug inhibited coronavirus replication by introducing lethal mutations in the viral genome and demonstrated efficacy against the virus. As more information was uncovered about SARS-CoV-2, a study using a TACMAN gene expression assay was undertaken to demonstrate vaccine efficacy against infection-induced pneumonia, weight loss, and mortality in an animal model of SARS-CoV-2. Following a single immunization dose, the inoculation delivered robust protection against severe outcomes. The journey towards a usable vaccine was underway, using existing technology that worked against SARS-CoV-2 meant that time could be saved. However, the question still remained about how to deliver the vaccine. Vaccines typically deliver a weakened antigen which triggers an immune response within the body. Given the high infectability and severity of SARS-CoV-2, this method of transmission was risky and needed time-consuming research and study. A safer method was needed, quickly. The breakthrough came from two companies. Pfizer and Moderna both turned away from the usual method of triggering immune response. Instead, they looked at mRNA to deliver spike protein instructions without ever infecting the patient with SARS-CoV-2. This safer method was explored by both companies, allowing them to move much quicker through clinical trials towards a usable vaccine. In the latter half of the year, these trials were fast-tracked through to completion, with labs across the world taking part in a great unified effort. The result was one of the fastest-tracked vaccines in history, with the journey from research to rollout taking a fraction of the usual time. On December 11, 2020, the German-made Pfizer vaccine was given the all-clear, and the Moderna vaccine followed shortly after. Months later, AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson also published vaccines built via a modified adenovirus vector. As these vaccines started being administered worldwide, the road from identification to immunization could begin at last.